Antic Hay is a novel by Aldous Huxley, published in 1923, set in the disillusioned and disenchanted post-World War I London society. It presents a satirical look at the aimlessness and futility that Huxley perceived in the lives of the London intelligentsia. The novel follows a cast of characters, each searching for meaning and pleasure in a world that seems to have lost its values and direction. The protagonist is Theodore Gumbrill Jr., a disaffected schoolteacher who conceives a plan to escape the drudgery of his profession by inventing inflatable trousers, pneumatic pants, which he believes will make his fortune. Gumbrill's invention is emblematic of the absurdity and superficiality he sees around him. Gumbrill is a man of contradictions. He desires the quiet life of an intellectual, but is also drawn to the hedonistic pursuits available to him in London. Throughout the novel, Gumbrill wears a metaphorical mask to adapt to the different environments and company he keeps. This symbolizes the many facades that individuals present to the world and their struggle with their own identities. In pursuit of love and excitement, Gumbrill engages with a variety of characters. One of them is Gumbrill's friend, the cynical and amoral Mercaptain, who guides him through London's high society and bohemian circles. Mercaptain represents the decadence and moral laxity that characterizes the era's cultural elite. Another significant character is the beautiful but emotionally distant Myra Viveyash, with whom Gumbrill is infatuated. Myra, jaded by her past experiences during the war and her many love affairs, is an embodiment of the era's disenchantment. Gumbrill's relationship with Myra vacillates between hope and despair. As he longs for a deep connection, but finds himself unable to penetrate her emotional armor. Gumbrill also meets Rosie, a generous and warm-hearted woman who seems to be his antithesis. She offers him the opportunity for genuine affection and connection, but Gumbrill ultimately cannot commit himself to this path, seduced by the allure of the more superficial relationships he finds among the bright young things of the city. Meanwhile, Lippiet, an earnest but pretentious artist, strives for recognition and artistic success. Lippiet's tragic comedy lies in his passionate intensity and his inability to reconcile his idealistic ambitions with the realities of the world. His failure and self-delusion stand in contrast to the dispassionate and cynical detachment of characters like Mercaptan. The character Mrs. Viviash, slightly older than the other young central figures, also provides an insight into the disillusionment of the age. As Myra Viveyash's mother, she embodies the previous generation's confusion and moral uncertainty, unable to understand or guide the younger generation. Throughout the novel, the characters' experiences and interactions are characterized by a sense of melancholy and a search for escapism. Parties, sex, art, and intellectual discourse are all pursued as ways to find some deeper meaning or at least temporary respite from the existential dread that hangs over the lives of the protagonists. Gumbrill's internal struggle is exemplified by his alter ego, Gumbrill's beard, which represents his more assertive and confident persona. When Gumbrill dons his beard, he becomes more brash and successful in his social endeavors, yet he remains deeply conflicted about the sincerity of this persona. In the end, none of the characters achieve any lasting satisfaction or enlightenment. Gumbrill's pneumatic pants scheme collapses, and he is left to reflect on the futility of his undertakings. The society that Huxley portrays fails to provide its members with direction or purpose, resulting in a chronic sense of dislocation and unease. The novel concludes on a note that suggests a pessimistic view of the possibility for meaningful change. Huxley's characters continue their search for identity and fulfillment in a world that is characterized by superficiality and chaos. Antic Hay remains a satirical yet poignant depiction of the post-war generation's struggle to find its place in a vastly altered world, where old values have been upended and new ones have yet to be established. Antic Hay emerges as a sharp critique of the aimlessness and spiritual void of contemporary society, a society caught between the trauma of the past and the uncertainty of the future with a cast of characters who often acknowledge the emptiness of the escapades that define them. Through a searing yet witty narrative, Huxley encapsulates the essence of a generation lost in the hedonistic pleasures of the moment, without the compass of the past or the vision of the future.